Hey, welcome back everybody. You're tuning in to HowToPlayStock.com. My name is Casey Kepley, and uh, in today's video, I wanted to talk about uh, Acorns. It's an investing app, and uh, it deals with micro-investing. Now, micro-investing is where you can basically buy up shares of stocks, um, not at the actual price um, that's on the the stock exchange. So, for instance, let's say you had uh, you wanted to get into Apple stock, and Apple stock, you know, on the on the New York Stock Exchange is listed at like I don't know what it is right now, but let's just say it was like one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Uh, normally, in order to obtain that stock, you'd have to pay one hundred and fifty dollars to own one share. Now, with Acorns and and with the the idea behind micro investing is that you don't have to do that. So you could uh, essentially put in, say, like two or three bucks if you wanted to, and that would buy up a little portion of Apple stock. Okay? Now, that's the idea behind it. Acorns doesn't really do that. Um, what Acorns is used for is more long-term. So it deals with index strategy. It looks it looks for an index strategy, uh, kind of like what your 401k account does. Um, and it's a really nice way for you, especially if, if you're someone who is low income, uh, doesn't have a whole lot of money to play with right now, but you, you absolutely want to get into stocks. Uh, this is a nice little way to do that. I, I found this comes in pretty handy, uh, you know, in situations where, you know, life might throw you a left hook, you know, knock your car out like it did to me. I ended up just having recently to drop about $5,000 cash on a new car so I wouldn't have a car payment and it meant that I had to liquidate most of my paper assets uh, that I had obtained through the last you know year and a half uh, now I could have held on to cash you know and instead of investing in the stocks <clears throat> but I figured just holding on to cash uh, at the at that specific time wasn't a good idea for me anyways because I like to get my money working for me uh, instead of just letting it sit there and lose value. So that's what I did. I, I ended up li liquidating my paper assets, though, and dropping money on a car. So now I'm now that I've got that out of the way, I can continue moving forward. And you know, while I'm building up some cash so I can make another investment into uh, paper assets, I figured, well, I'll just wait until the value maybe drops a little bit and... Uh, Go with some micro investing, and I've got that set up already through my Acorns account. And basically, what it does for people who are tuning in here for the first time, Acorns takes the difference um, in a purchase. So, in other words, there's something called roundups, and we'll get to the roundups section here. Roundups, what what these things are. Uh, it monitors purchases and rounds up transactions to the next dollar. Okay, so these roundups will be invested once they reach five dollars. So, for example, if you buy a uh, coffee for three dollars and forty-four cents, Acorns will round up the transaction to four dollars to invest the difference, which is fifty-six cents. And that fifty-six cents goes towards, you know, your uh, your five dollar limit. Once you hit five dollars, it'll go in and buy up stocks for you through an investing strategy called indexing. And we'll look at the portfolio real quick because I'll show you what it does here. <clears throat> you can set your portfolio uh, like it's shown here. You can go with uh, large cap stocks. It'll it'll sort everything out for you here. So you can see kind of what you're invested in uh, throughout your portfolio. You can adjust the amount that you invest on a monthly basis too, and it'll gauge out a projected view um, of the value of that portfolio over time. So right now, mine's this is moderate, moderately aggressive. You can set it to conservative, uh, moder moderately conservative, moderate. <clears throat> so it'll show you allocation on each one of these portfolios 
and then it'll show you the projected value based on say like sixty seven dollars monthly okay so that's uh, that's the portfolio you can go into your settings here uh, you can set this up with a uh, debit card so any debit card that's attached to your bank now acorns uses a sp specific list of banks so if your bank's not in there I'd highly recommend maybe setting up an account with a bank that they uh, do business with mine for instance is Bank of America um, and the cool thing about this is it it really keys in on daily habits okay daily habits uh, that you already are doing on a day-to-day -day basis like you know making a purchase using your uh, your debit card and it it takes that difference between the purchase price and that next dollar up takes the difference in that amount and it automatically just goes into an account for you so you're never looking at it uh, in other words it's all passive okay you can transfer money out I've done this a couple times the transfers usually take about three to five days so they're a little bit longer on the transfer times but the money will still hit your account uh, you do have to file taxes on this stuff um, you know for small amounts I I went ahead and left it out on my tax return this year because I was only dealing with a couple hundred bucks so I don't really don't think uh, that was gonna you know show up on the radars I don't know if it does I'll get something like a CP 2000 form again um, if you're not familiar with what a CP 2000 form is subscribe to my channel because I, I discuss that with you and I show you uh, how that process works with taxes on you know reporting losses and not reporting losses to the IRS when it comes to your stocks uh, but moving forward here that's basically acorns for you the whole concept behind this I love it because again take take my own situation for example right now um, I want to get into the stock market again and while I'm saving up money to do that I can still invest in this uh, through micro investing and kind of build some wealth long term passively uh, without having to actually go in and buy up uh, huge amounts of stock you know say at fair value price or whatever it's listed on the uh, New York Stock Exchange so if, you know that Apple example that I used earlier uh, that's what I'm referring to here you don't have to do that you don't have to go into the actual New York Stock Exchange and purchase you know one share of a company at say 50 bucks here you can just chip away at it but you're doing it with indexing um, I'll shoot another video here shortly and I'll break down some of the ETFs that they use ETFs are exchange traded funds and those are the stocks that they actually use to invest uh, in your portfolio so for instance like right here you see VWO that's a emerging market stock there's a VNQ which is a, a real estate stock most of these are all Vanguard okay which is low expense fees which is really good um, I actually had some of these stocks that I was looking at for my all seasons portfolio um, if you're not familiar with all seasons portfolio again subscribe to the channel I discuss that I break down the asset allocation on it because it's really what it is is it's uh, it reduces your risk and it deals with uh, risk parity simply put is that it uh, reduces your risk and increases your chances or odds of winning in the market that's the all seasons portfolio now that portfolio uses mostly Vanguard because of its low expense fees and again like I said not not every stock in here that they're using for this portfolio is Vanguard but there's a majority of them in here that are exchange traded funds that are Vanguard and they're much lower priced uh, and lower expense fees than say going with a mutual fund directly through Vanguard so I hope that makes sense for you um, that's all I have for acorns today again like I said I'll break some of these stocks down for you at a later date so you can kind of get an idea of what they do how much they cost uh, things like that how they work um, but other than that that's all I have for today you're tuning in to howtoplaystock.com um, 
you haven't subscribed to the channel, again, please do so. I'm covering videos every week on stocks, uh, fundamentals, technicals, breaking down the financial tools for you, the taxes, stuff in that nature. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you like what you're seeing here, go ahead and hit that like button, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Remember, in comes the outcome.